Angela Blanchett spent years cutting her son's hair at home. Benjamin has autism and, like many young people with sensory disorders, struggles at the barber shop. There's buzzers, there's hair dryers, there's bright lights, there's wet hair, there's sprays, aprons around them, all of these things combined together. They get into like a fight or flight syndrome and it's a nightmare. Through training webinars and a barber toolkit, Sensory Haircut Solutions aims to improve the experience for young people with autism, Down syndrome, and other disorders. What bothered you the most when you were younger? It was trying to look, they put the buzz on my head. The main goal is keeping kids distracted, and the toolbox has a number of things like fidget spinners or squeeze balls that help. Sometimes we suggest they turn the chair around or give them something else visually to be looking at. Kings Park Barbershop will be the first place trained by this group to give kids with sensory issues haircuts. They'll have that box in their barbershop as well. They often have a lot of motion. They'll be stimming maybe with their hands or flapping or wiggling around. Barbers say the tools help them by keeping young people still and thus avoiding a bad haircut. Another tool also helps barbers, a unique scissor that cuts hair the same way a buzzer would, but doesn't make the noise. It's more about educating, training, and have, having them be equipped and ready for when children with these needs walk in. Blanchett says the training and toolbox will cost about $500. They'll have their first training later this month. In Kings Park, New York, Clark Foraker, CBS2 News. Now, the company conducted a non-scientific survey. They found one in three parents who have a child with sensitivity disorder cut their children's hair at home to avoid a bad haircut experience. But what a great idea. I had no idea. I this is genius. Not. Absolutely.